Okay, uh, take a look at your OGT preparation worksheet. I'll talk you through the worksheet, talk about what's coming up, and then get you started on today's online testing activity. So you'll be taking the OGT in mid-March. And uh, to ensure that when you walk into that testing room, you know exactly what you'll be facing and exactly how to deal with it, I'm going to spend some time with you going over exactly what's on the OGT. Now, this does not mean that we'll be spending the next couple months preparing for the test. Quite the contrary, we have quite a lot of other material to work on, vocabulary, Friday Night Lights, and what have you. But we will spend some time every now and then to take a practice test, to go over the results, to talk about what works and what doesn't work. And this will be our OGT preparation unit. So if you take a look at the worksheet that's in front of you, you'll see that we have a description of the schedule, of when we'll be doing reading, writing, essay tests, and so on, um, how much you earn for in-class practice tests, and uh, how much you earn for online practice tests, and uh, how much you earn for the entire unit. So you can keep this for your records, uh, put it in your binder, and so on and so forth. Uh, we'll talk about each step of this as we go, but today I want to focus on what's at the top of the back, and that's the online practice tests, because today you can start on your online practice test. You'll do some practice tests in class and some out of class, and the ones that you do out of class will be completed online. The Ohio Department of Education has provided remarkably effective services online to help you prepare for tests, many more resources than we can possibly accomplish in this class. And you should check those out if you're really concerned about uh, preparing for and succeeding on the test. But I'll make you um, take some practice tests online, and these are actual past OGTs. So when you're taking an online practice test, you are taking an authentic OGT that previous students have taken. In fact, the online practice tests available for you are from 2009. So take a look at what you've got here, um, and I'll, I'll walk you through the instructions. Uh, this will give you step-by-step -step instructions online. So first, you should go, of course, to the class website. And if you're not yet on the class website, then you should catch up and, and be there. So I'll give you a moment to make sure that you're on the class website. Once you're on the class website, if you scroll down, you should see a new block appearing. That new block is OGT preparation. And when you see OGT preparation, you can click on downloads, first of all, take a look in there. And I have a lot of materials that you could take a look at and print, and I might ask you to take a look at those at some time. But if you lose your OGT prep sheet or preparation assignment sheet, what you're looking in front of you right now, um, then it's here, as well as a number of other helpful guides that we'll look at in the uh, days and weeks to come. Going back to the main page, if you take a look here, at OGT preparation, you'll want to click on this link, the Ohio Department of Education's OGT Web for Students. Click on that, you'll start to see their interface. And you should click on practice for the tests. Now when you practice for the tests, you can um, access an online account that I have made for you. So when you do that, you're going down here to sign up for new account. And take a look at the instructions on this OGT prep sheet. You see we've done number one, we've done number two. You're using this for the first time. So your user ID is your first and last name, all lowercase, as it appears on your registration here at Southview. And then the, word, the letters SV. So take a look at my example. My name is Alexander Clarkson, so I would drop the case, low A, low C, Alexander Clarkson SV. That is my login ID. So if you go back here, Alexander Clarkson SV, sign up for new account. Oh, look, there I am. I am logged in as Alexander Clarkson SV. I'll create a password. I'll confirm that password, and then I can change personal information if I want. So 
if you are following the directions, first full name, last name, lowercase, no spaces. If you have a dash in your name, remove it. It does not allow me to use dashes, just alphanumeric numbers or alphanumeric characters. Then you should be able to access this page. You create a password, and my password will be pretty easy. I will include my email address. Including an email address allows you to recover your password if you forget it. So if you leave this blank and you forget your password, you've got a problem. Create account. OK, my account has been successfully created. So once I'm there, I will click Continue. So just to review, You've done number one, you've done number two, you've done number three. Complete the account information, you click continue. And you should be able to start to see the practice test. So you click continue. This is what you should see. You should see that two practice tests have been assigned for you, a practice reading test and a practice writing test, that they're due on February 27th, and you're ready to go. You should see me listed as the teacher that has assigned this for you. So. Once you're ready, and you'll have time to do this during class today, click on Start. And if you click on Start, you can start test. You start answering the questions. Every time you answer a question, you should click Save and Continue. So I've got to, I don't know. I'm just going to answer one off the top of my head. Let's say it's that. I'm going to click Save and Continue. And that means that all the work that I've done is saved. So please make sure that you are saving your work. I will be able to access the results of this. You will be able to see the results. There you go. The first one is answered. It looks like I guessed correctly. See, if I had answered that incorrectly, it would have shown an X, and it would have given me the correct answer and Y. So you can receive immediate feedback on multiple choice questions. The writing responses, uh, you will receive feedback for from me. So I will receive the writing responses and I will grade them. I want you to keep in mind that if you skip the writing responses or you decide to write a sentence when it asks for an essay, then you will lose points. Take your time with this. Work on it. Actually give me some writing responses and I can give you some decent feedback. My promise to you is that you will submit these on February 27th. I will reply with my results no later than March 5th and that gives you time to take a look at the results and consider how you might do on the OGT before you actually take it. So keep in mind that I want you to complete the entire thing. If it's only partially completed you earn 5 out of 10 points which is an F so don't do that. All you need to do is give it a shot and complete it. Make sure to save and continue and once you're finished you submit test. Submit test right here. Don't do that until you're finished. So submit test. I will receive it because you've logged in correctly, and then everything should be good. You don't have the opportunity to ask me questions today, I know, but you will have the opportunity to ask me questions this week. So if you do have questions, write them down, save them in your memory somehow. But for the rest of the class period, I'd like you to begin working on either the reading or the writing test. And if you do not have a computer to yourself, then you can work with another student and keep that in mind for when you do have a computer to log into your own account. If you have questions, like I said, save them, bring them to me, and that's it for today.